Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the first ever episode of Cast Away, the podcast, also in which we talk about uh, random and various gaming and other potential technology news. Yay. So, anyway, uh, quick summary of what we're going to be talking about this episode. Uh, first, we'll be talking about uh, introductions, uh, get, get to know us a little bit better, um, Unfortunately, it's only going to be me and uh, my friend Gara here, so uh, we'll introduce other people as they come along, hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, with that, we also are going to be talking about E3, uh, interesting things that we saw at E3, stuff that caught our interest, and uh, potentially stuff that uh, uh, we can possibly see either succeeding or failing yeah. in the market. Uh, right. With that, we'll also be talking about uh, summer movies, as well as uh, we'll be talking about the huge hype surrounding Duke Nukem Forever, and we'll, then we'll just be finishing up with a little dibbly we call Song of the Month, where uh, one of us picks a song of the month that we think is a, a favorite song of ours, and we just wanted to promote. So, And for future anyway. reference, uh, what do you call it? The, the uh, questions at the end. Oh, yes, and uh, not this episode, but following episodes, we shall talk about uh, questions and answer we'll be uh, answering questions from the listeners as well, uh, which we'll talk about how to submit a uh, question to us later on in the podcast. Yeah. So with that, introductions. Uh, I'll start. My name's Kamo Yoshi. Uh, I currently run the I Hate Apple clan website as well as the Steam group. Um, I also do the Song of the Month administration. And... uh, uh, I also run multiple websites, which are more personal endeavors. Um, and besides that, I play a lot of uh, GMod, uh, or Goldeneye Source, um, and maybe a little bit of Team Fortress 2 here and there. So uh, that's pretty much a good summary of me and my life. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm Gar the Dancing Panda. I like to read comics, waste time on the Internet, play a lot of games, especially Goldeneye Source, which we need to do that again. That was fun. Yes. Um, and uh, I thought the idea from podcast because I'm uh, an unoriginal b- d bag. So. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> well, first, first order of business, and probably the uh, biggest topic we'll have to talk about tonight is uh, E3. What the- do you what What caught your uh, interest, and uh, what do you think could potentially succeed or fail in the market today? Actually, this is where I'm kind of glad that uh, we switched up, because I actually want to know, should I start with the most boring or the most important first? (laughs) Um, I don't know. I think the... Wait, what was the question? (laughs) Okay, do the best first, or say the best for us? Uh, Do the best first. Okay, um, Wii U, definitely. Wii U, uh, most most definitely probably one of the big biggest ticket items uh, at E3 this year. Yeah, so, okay. Uh, Nintendo announces a new console. All they show is the controller, which was a bad move on their part. Uh, <laughs> then they, uh, uh, they they try to cater to the hardcore audience with some sweet launch <coughs> titles, which I'm actually excited about. Uh, Assassin's Creed. Uh, I'm trying to think of the other ones they announced. I can't remember, but uh, Assassin's Creed is the one I'm really looking forward to. Um, really, really clunky controller is what I hear, but apparently uh, the touchscreen is very nice in quality, and um, uh, they're not sure, as far as Nintendo is communicating with each other, uh, uh, Nintendo of Japan says that it will only support one uh, tablet controller. Nintendo of America says that it will support two and I don't know what they're doing, but Nintendo has never failed with a console, so I'm just going to go ahead and assume that it's going to continue printing money. Oh, they have they have failed, though, before. The virtual, virtual Boy. Boy. <laughs> but, I mean, that's... Uh, okay, I mean a home console, though. Uh, well, isn't a home console... Um, I mean... the uh, Well, how about this? N64DD. That never came out in America, so well, they're pretty okay. disappointing. Okay. Sales in Japan, so... Well, see, but see, okay, I'll admit that Nintendo makes crappy uh, home console expansions. They've done... They've yes. done, like, the, uh, the Nintendo... The uh, NES satellite and uh, whatever. The satellite view was pretty good. The only problem is it was just way too yeah. expensive. The satellite view and... I never really found the Super Game Boy that cool and the 
BD and uh, uh the only, FPS the only, for the Famicom. <laughs> yeah, and the only thing I can really say that was a good expansion was the Game Boy adapter, for the the GBA adapter for the GameCube. That, or if you consider it an expansion, the uh, uh, the graphics upgrade for the N64, if you can call that oh, yeah, expansion. Yeah, the uh, <laughs> expansion. Well, it, it says expansion in the see N64 RAM expansion pack. I guess so. Anyway, uh, we've, we've done enough off-topic rambling for but, tonight. Yeah, um, so <laughs> I think Nintendo will continue so. to uh, make lots of money with the Wii U. So. Yeah, I, I have to say I'm pretty interested in the Wii U because it's a pretty unique specimen in terms of uh, gaming. I mean, you've got the, the the fact is that they're trying to do, do a total 180 and actually trying to cater to the hardcore gamers now, which is pretty interesting uh, move by Nintendo's part because, you know, two or three years ago they were saying, oh, you know, motion control is the future. Yeah, and uh, Mike just caught on to that. He's the yeah. Kinect. And now they turn around and say, oh, never mind. It's buttons and... Uh, analog sticks and touch screens and Nintendo high res will always be the future is what I've decided because next yep. next thing because actually uh, iPad is now uh, Apple at the, you know because Apple had their press conference at the same time as E3 <laughs> like I want to say it was Tuesday of E3 um, they actually showed uh, a new update for the iPad that allows you to use your iPad as a controller. And use the app, and it syncs with the Apple TV. Hmm. Which interesting. It's it basically turns into a uh, Wii U with a bigger screen and no buttons. And <laughs> while it's a novel aspect of the iPad, I mean, obviously I don't see it becoming big because the iPad uh, is not meant for gaming. It's not an HD system. But uh, the fact that in twenty like twenty days, Apple can make an update for um, a system and it will it rivals that of what it rivals the Wii U uh, it, it obviously just shows that Nintendo is going to do something everybody else is going to copy it <laughs> yeah especially um, I do have to say though I'm pretty interested in, in seeing the Wii U's hardware uh, specs because yeah. I have heard uh, some rumors not sure if they're confirmed I have heard some rumors of uh, a last gen ATI Radeon card inside the uh Wii U, I believe a 49 yeah, series. Last, last, yeah, I think you said 4920 or something. 49, either 4920 or 60. Either way, it's not much of a difference, but uh, definitely one 4900 series, which in respect is a very powerful graphics card, uh, especially for a mobile device. Yeah. So, considering the fact that just, you know, last generation they had those cards in PCs. Yeah. And then, <laughs> uh, yeah, but uh, honestly. No matter what Nintendo does, they'll make money because they already have the, the casual audience, and they are now taking back some of the hardcore audience. And not only that, but I find it funny that they are now ditching everything that they had, not just from the Wii, but from previous consoles. Like uh, they had, they they revolutionized the D-pad. They're almost completely ditching that. They revolutionized the uh, analog stick. They they don't have those now. They have circle pads. They uh, mm-hmm. what do you they they uh started uh, controller wings like you know where you can put your hands yes. they don't have those anymore it's basically uh, everything Nintendo's innovated is now gone mm-hmm. with the exception yeah. of touchscreen yeah with the exception of touchscreen which they really capitalized on that with the DS way back when so yep. I mean let's see here DS sales have hit oh I don't know the DS entire series as a whole has probably hit Millions and millions of units sold worldwide. Yeah, and actually, so, this is a good segue to go into the 3DS. Now that we're talking about, it. but um, yes, absolutely. Uh, 3DS. Uh, I wouldn't say it was a colossal failure, but it definitely did not sell as well as Nintendo had hoped. Because uh, a good point I heard on side scrollers the other uh, week was a. Uh, now, if you if you look back when the DS first came out, of course it made tons of money because. Mm-hmm. Back then, they didn't have uh, iPhones and iPods and mm-hmm. mobile yeah. phones where you could get games for 99 cents that would be just as good as buying a $30 game on the DS. Now, I admit that Nintendo, that this is partly due to Nintendo's not uh, putting on, uh, delaying the launch titles, but uh, the thing is that 
uh, even if they do, even if they had the launch titles ready when the DS launched, and they had, uh, you know, they even if they had everything in mint condition, like perfect for setup, it would have not, it, it wouldn't have, they still wouldn't have the market they had for the DS and the GBA and the Game Boy, because as much as I hate to admit it, phones and iPods and mobile devices have almost cut the portable market in half. Oh yeah, most definitely. And, uh, although, a few standout, uh, 3DS titles. Star Fox, uh, 64 3D, uh, the new, uh, Smash Brothers, which will be cross-platform connectivity between, uh, Wii U and 3DS. Um, I'm trying to think of some other things they announced. Mario Kart, um, uh, Super Mario 3D. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm actually pretty interested in the new Mario Kart, being myself a big uh, Mario yeah. Kart fan. So, uh, I also am pretty interested in that new Star Fox 3D. Uh, perhaps we'll see a reintroduction of some previous characters that were featured in Command. Yeah, that'd be really cool. And they have the uh, they have like they they're adding like Diddy Kong aspects, the Diddy Kong racing, where they have like the parachutes and the uh, the hang gliders. 